I'm back. Um, so since my last video, I don't know when I did my last video, I think it was a day or two ago, not long ago, but these courgettes weren't up last time, and now they're up. So, and I don't know if you've seen the tags, I think you did in the last video. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. But the courgettes, I can only tell, the way I'd be able to tell the difference if I didn't have the tags, if you guys just don't want to or don't see the point in buying the tags, um, are the, with, I can tell the difference between the cor this is cucumber and this is courgette. So I can tell a difference because the courgettes, I don't know if you can notice on camera, on camera, um, but they have slightly bigger leaves and they're slightly shorter stem and then the and then these cucumbers are a longer stem and tinsy bit smaller leaves um so that'll be my video today and then i've got this pot of cucumbers it's all about the new life coming into the garden um also the tomatoes went up last time so i've got these black cherry tomatoes and then i've got in that big garden bed i've got um normal cherry tomatoes so i'm going to try for the first time i'm going to try grafting which i haven't so yeah i haven't done that before um last time my corn in the last video was basically just Put these tags back in it was basically just green spikes coming out the ground now they actually look like little seedlings so i think they are related to grass plants so you can see the resemblance here's another one here's another one that's still sort of like a spike but you can see the leaf unfurling so that's all together one two three four five six corn plants one, two, three, four, four tomatoes, uh, seven cucumbers, and two courgettes, which is overall quite good in my opinion. Um, so I might just water these guys down, it's going to be a short video today, just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, um, yeah. Right, let's go water. Okay, so for these little guys, I use the watering can, not the hose, because the watering can's more delicate and won't knock them over and disturb the roots too much. Um, so I just go grab the watering can, and I just lay them out on the grass. The water can go into the grass, it's fine, and just water them down until I see water coming out of the bottom of the pots. And then I also give them a, so it's organ, organic seaweed fertilizer once a week, um, just to help them because they're little, help them mature a bit. And then I stop with the fertilizing when I put them in the ground in a nice potting, or in a big pot in a nice potting mix. For the, courgettes and cucumbers I'm thinking I might put them in a pot like like this big pot here I need to get a couple more of those sizes um, but get a couple of those big pots and put them in there and then the corn I'm thinking will just go in the ground I'm not, I'm not quite sure yet haven't really figured it out but um, I'd need to find a spot for the, for them, eventually, obviously. One more thing, I will show you the lettuce later, because it's going quite stemmy, which I think means it's going to go taller and flower soon, and then flowers mid seeds. I collect the seeds, and then I replant them, because corn can be all year long here, basically. Except it might struggle in summer, but I could grow it under the shade, maybe under the mango tree over there. Alright, let's go grab the watering can. So, I filled it up to almost the 9 litre mark. 
up here, so the water's here, this is the 9 litre mark, it's about an inch away from 9 litre mark. Um, so I'm just going to water these guys, hold it, hold the watering can up high, and any leftover water can go into the rest of the garden. Alright. Um, you know what? I'll be back. Okay, so that's those seedlings watered. Um, got the flowers on the peas over here coming in nicely. Um, they're going nice and bushy, all going quite well. Caterpillars, or slugs or something are eating the leaves a bit, but that's all right. They get their fair share. They it's only a little bit as it gets bigger. Be all right. They don't really eat the peas, so. Yeah, I'm fine with it. So the lettuce, so I've harvested lots of it. There's a leaf to harvest, nice big one. Um, but here's what I mean, is it's going quite long, not super long. This one's a good example, actually. See, all that stem? Until... <laughs> you say hi, Sienna. Hi, Sienna. No, just say hi. I don't mean say. Okay, say hi to yourself then. Hi, <laughs> hi Sienna. Gents. Hi, gents. <laughs> Good girl. So yeah, it's going quite stalky. Still making leaves though, and um, I'll plant some more. Got some fennel coming in. I'm not sure if this is like this sort of bulb sort of type of fennel or just the ones where you take the leaves. Either one's good, really, to be honest. Um, potatoes, I was worried about. I dug one up and um, they're doing something. So I put that back in the ground. Didn't damage it, luckily. Just in there. They're doing something underground. They'll come up soon, hopefully. Let's see. Can we spot any? Can you spot any potatoes, Sienna? Yep. You can? I can't. <laughs> oh. She's obviously got supervision, see through the ground. Curly leaf kale's getting there, isn't it, Sienna? So it's getting there. Getting there. Rosemary cutting's not doing that very well. It has roots, but got a bit of a shock, I think. And I think somehow some tomato seedlings snuck themselves in there, so it's always a bit bit of mischief going on going on, isn't there? Alright, that's all for today's video, guys. Um, see you in the next one. Bye!